All right, my friends, another bushcraft knife from Beavercraft. Check it out. This is the beaver number two. And now I perform a rust test. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Blood from Beavercraft. After the water, check it out, looks fancy. It was three days after the water jump in the leather sheath and it's rusty. It's not completely, but you have rust spots like everywhere. And yeah, it's still sharp, but we'll see if the rust penetrated the sharpness. Wooden handle, walnut handle, the rusty beaver against the Gröbi. Shit, directly in my fucking eye. What? Yeah. Yeah, nice cut. Pretty nice cut, still some gravy left. Good gravy. No. Yes. Oh shit, directly in my fucking eye. All right, now the beaver puts a man against the tree. Not a chopper, but we'll see. Oh. Wow, wow, this blade is sharp. Wow, this is razor sharp. Wow, freaking sharp. But inside it's tough. Wow, it's awesome. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. There's a damage on the tree. Pretty effective cuts here. It's razor freaking sharp this blade. Here's the other part. This is nice. Awesomely. Okay, the edge. After the tree, not no problem, nothing. Now I try to baton mother here because batoning is so much fun. So I heard and the baton is my hand. Wow, awesome. This is very tough material. It did it awesomely. Yeah. I think it's oak. Austrian fucking oak. Went through like butter. Clean cut here. Clean cut there. So this little fucker is not too bad. If I can find him again. Little fucker. Where are you? Where is this motherfucker? Ah, here. Oh. I'm stupid like fuck and drunk. All right, check it out, no damage. Tip is still fine, everything. No problem, the handle, still intact. It's a good chopper. You can grip it here. It's not so heavy, but you can chop like this, which is uh, really better than the other version. The number four, the number four has like this long iron side here, which is shit. But this one to grab here, this is a, a better knife than the other one. 
because of this handle here at the back. It comes with a handmade original leather sheath from the Ukraine. Now you can see the rust is gone after the chopping. The rust is ideas. Comes with this dangler, 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 dangler. You have it here. It's not too bad. It's not too shabby. If you have to step, step is heavy. You need two hands. Uh, uh, yeah. To get it out. But it has no retention, nothing. You just put it inside here. And uh, that's the shit. Yeah, that's shit. It's okay. But in a zombie apocalypse uh, time, I wouldn't use this. I would. I wanted to make a Kydex because I don't like this ladder too much. That's a minus. But the rest was a plus till now. All right, now some steps at the car door. The tip is tiny, tiny, but okay. Let's stop. Let's stop this model, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, the tip is a bit off now. And when you step, you get more easy on the plate because of the handles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there are breakouts. There are breakouts at the edge. Wow. Up here like this. Now I can step. Not possible. Weird. Yeah, because I think it broke at the top a little bit. Now it penetrates better. That's what she said. It's so weird. Okay, you leave it like this, check it out, Tell it chunks, the tip is fucked. Oh, fuck. These are the steps on the Biwa, weird, sometimes it penetrates not, sometimes it penetrates good, I think after the tip was broken, uh, there was a serrated tip and then it penetrated even better, okay, but it's, it's not too bad. Okay, check it out. Check out the serrations now on the blade. Tip is fucked. Now oh, fuck the car door. That's it. Shall I? Yes, I shall. Heavy serrations. Heavy, heavy breakout. Okay. Wow. Heavy breakouts. Heavy breakouts. Super serrated now. For a tiny blade, uh, nice damage at the car door. You can see here and also here. Pretty, pretty impressive. But it got serrated big time. Tip as fuck. Let's go. Oh, still straight. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, now it's banded. 
Now we have a band. Banding, banding, banding. Band it back. Ah. 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 Okay, that was too much for the beaver. But it's nice, it's a sim. Sim blade, first it bent it, then it broke. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. <laughs> no? Ah, it's bent It's bent for sure. Yeah, fuck it. Because of the handle shape, I don't get it in so too good. Put it inside me. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, 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 fuck. That hurt that, yeah. That was too much, of course, not a break. Heavy abuse, fuck it, fuck. But you can see the handle. There's no problem with the handle. The walnut is still in place. Just the blade is bended and broken. All right. Yes. And so it looks like two brakes. Now, brake test. Edge. Oh shit. Oh shit, Frau Schmidt, the handle gets loose. Yep. The screw is loose. Just the screw is loose. The handle is still fine. Oh shit. Oh shit for Schmidt! It broke while hitting the edge. I didn't hit it at the spine. And it broke. Ka freaking fucking boom. Okay, the B wire is fucked. Handle scales are still intact, just the screw is loose. Can I do a pull up with this model? We shall see. <laughs> Okay. But still, it's not banded. Pull ups possible. Awesome. Shit. Okay, check it out. This is from the pull ups. This curb inside here is from the pull ups, but the rest of the handle is intact. Master brick time. Yep. Oh shit. Oh shit, Frau Schmidt, that's fucked big time. Yeah. Wow, now it broke here, it also broke the tang, it also broke at the back. Okay, end of the line of the Piva Craft, made in Ukraine, comes with this carton. I have to read now, this was the BS1 Dune, the one Dune carbon steel 1066 walnut handle leather sheath, 40 US dollars. Wood action was okay. The toning was okay, it's pretty super sharp this blade, but dip test, the first one was abused, the second one was super abused. Of course, it broke pretty quick at the prick while hitting the spine. Okay, maybe because it was banded, it was compromised already, and when I hit the, the edge, it was broken. The walnut handle holds up pretty good, just one screw was missing after that, and then it got fucked big time by the prick. The walnut is not the best material, in my opinion, for a stabber, for a bushcraft knife, because it can get very slippery when wet. That's what she said. So slippery when wet, pretty awesomely. Looks like this, the walnut stuff. And here, here the screws. So the screws are it's in. And it also broke the tang at the back, okay. I don't know what to think about that, but it broke as well. I wouldn't recommend it for the zombie apocalypse, for, but for normal bushcraft task, 
you can use it for sure because it's very sharp. Here's the grain structure. I think it looks pretty smooth. Here's the broken blade from the beaver. You can see the heavy chunks, the edges torn down. Here the grain structure. Here the other part. Thanks a lot to Beavercraft for sending me these plates. Okay, the rest of the Beavercraft knife against Air Glock. I hit it here somewhere. It's just more dented now, check it out. It just dented the handle. Now it broke. Wow, here's the clock shot. There. Wow. Beavercraft is toast. I think the first clock shot didn't destroy it, but the second two kaboomed it big time. This is how it looks like now. All right, adios Beavercraft. Stay safe wherever you are now. See you my friends, bye.